today we're going to put in a 30 amp RV plug for uh, for our camper here at the house so uh, our plan is there's where we park our camper it plugs in about eh, over in there somewhere and it comes across and we're gonna make it plug into a box here on the side so uh, we're, we're lucky that we have our panel over on this side so it makes it easier and that kind of makes it worthwhile for us to do this project big disclaimer is if you do not know anything about electricity or you don't have any knowledge and you're not comfortable doing this type of project do not do this have an electrician do it you can buy the components for it and probably pay someone to come in and hook it up but do not do this if you're not sure what you're doing now these are the components that we had to buy <clears throat> in order to do this project we've got a 30 amp box this one does have a breaker in it it's not necessary you have that breaker but I, I'll tell you a little bit later why I have that breaker and this is the way I end up buying it and you'll need 10-2 wire at least maybe 8-2 but you at least need 10-2 wire whatever length you think you'll need that, that will handle that 30 amp and then you'll need a a circuit breaker if you've got an open place in your circuit panel you will uh, you'll just need to buy one 30 amp circuit breaker in my case I had to make room and I'll show you what I had to do but this is a split one here has a 15 and a 30 so I'm going to take one of my 15 amps take it out put these two in its place put the the old 15 amp in for that and then add the 30 amp in for my new circuit so we'll show you how we'll do that here in just a minute but all in all this this stuff to do this about 80 80 to 90 dollars so the first thing you want to look at is the proximity to where you want to put this in if you got to go a long ways this wiring for this this 10 2 wire will cost you quite a bit and it's going to be quite a bit more expensive i only got 15 foot because i only need maybe three foot of wire you'll see my panel i'm inside my garage this is the outside and there's my panel and i've measured 20 inches from my door 45 inches up and we'll show you over here on the other side going around and on this side you'll see i've measured that 20 inches from the door 45 inches from the seal of the door that gives me my corner of my of my panel right there so what i'm looking to do is there's in this particular wall we have two by fours every on 16 inch centers and so that I don't want to put it over here on this side because I'll have to go through one of those two by four so I have to put it above or below that panel so in this case I'm going to try to fit it right in here below and that's why I've marked out the bottom of where that panel is okay coming in and looking at my panel I'm going to open up the panel box here and you'll see my problem was didn't have any extra if you had an extra spot you can add that 30 amp in there you'll need a full full spot like this here and so what I'm going to do is I bought circuit breakers that basically stack and that this holds the same space as that one right there so I'm going to pull out that 15 amp put this 15 and a 30 amp in there put that circuit on that 15 amp and then add my 30 amps on there one thing you want to make sure is what kind of box you have I do know that my box has the GE circuit breaker so that's what I purchased to put in here you want to back they don't they're not all fit the same so you want to see what brand you have for your circuit panel and you want to make sure you buy the proper circuit breaker so sliding this box out of the out of the box here this is what you have you have this front piece here and you basically got to take out two screws to see what you got back behind there okay once you take that front panel off there with the two screws you'll see that this one's already got it pretty well hooked up to the board and uh got it already hooked up to the circuit breaker so what you're really looking for now is we're going to go out through the back wall so we look like we're going to punch out this hole right here okay i've now uh taken the front fascia panel off the panel and that way it exposes our wires here and uh Something to let you know, again, you shouldn't be doing this if you don't know what you're doing, but we will turn off the main breaker. 
but if you turn off this main breaker you still got to understand that that post and that post right there are still live post even when you've got that breaker off so just don't do anything around this area without being extremely cautious we're going to be mainly working in this far corner we're going to disconnect when we do come in with our wires we're going to disconnect this here and double stack them right here so in order to access a little bit better into my box i had to remove the stuff that was already pre-mounted in here um, and what i got to do now is access these three holes there's one two three holes here and i also punched out the hole for the back here for where the wire is going to go into the house okay so what i've done now is i've temporarily mounted it putting in one screw at the top just want to see how the position is where i want it also going to mark this hole right here so we can drill that and then i'll probably take it out and then drill that hole being very careful because we know there's wires in that section there so when we go through we will be careful about that you also want to know what you're mounting to i do know because i was here when they built this house that this whole wall here has has wood it actually has a plow board so there's something that i can actually mount this to if you didn't you might have to put some support pieces behind that to mount to so in this case i have a pretty good setup for mounting this so you'll see we went ahead and ran our 10-2 wire from our hole it goes up about hey, maybe six inches and goes into the bottom of the panel i'll show you i'm going to leave plenty here because we have to weed up through that box okay you'll see how it comes up through here let the big whip on here depending on where you think you're going to hook this you might leave a bigger piece if you know it's going up from the top of the panel i know it's going to go in this bottom slot so i've got plenty here so we're going to go outside now and get the outside panel all hooked up and that way we can wait until the last minute to shut all the power off and and get this hooked up inside Now you can see where I've already brought my wires out. Black wire to the post that I'm using, which is this right hand side post here. I've got my white coming into the white common over here on the bus board here. And then my ground coming into the ground block. So now I'll put that plug that back in here. And then we'll just have to work on the inside. So this is what we've got done on the outside. It's looking like it's pretty much done out here. Open it up, latches in, got our main plate in, got the circuit turned off right now. Main reason I wanted to have one with the circuit is that when you plug this in, you always want to have this turned off. So I'd have to run inside, turn it off, come back out, plug it in, go back in, turn it on. So this way I can plug it in, turn it on right here at this spot so that's one thing's nice about that so we're gonna go in and work on the inside getting it hooked into the panel so I've got my wires in here I've got them kind of fixed up to the right size now they're gonna go into this bottom section here I've got my circuit breaker set up where they'll receive that wire and once I get these snapped into place so what we're gonna do now is of course, I'm going to make sure the power is turned off, and then I'm going to take this piece and disconnect it 
because this is the 15 amp I'm going to disconnect I'm going to stack them in here re reconnect that back in to the new stack on and then have my 30 amp for this to hook up hook that all up and then we'll test it out well it just goes to show that every time you think you got everything you need you find out you don't so what happened to me is my two stack on breakers that I was going to put in this bottom slot right here they didn't work in this panel so I had to go back and the only thing I could do is I found that Siemens will work in the GE so hopefully that's the case and what I'm going to do now is basically put a a stack 15 in this the second position here put that one in there move this one up to this to the to this one here that'll free up the spot for my 30 amp so we're going to work on that and see how it works out so let me show you what I did there I went ahead and swapped out the 15 I had two of these 15 amps on the two bottoms I pulled both those out made a double stack one here move that one circuit up to there double dot 15 up that leaves my 30 amp open here and I wired it in put my white end into the common bus also hooked in my my uh, copper here and so now we're ready to turn the big switches let me go ahead and turn everything on the office side right now we're going to hit the big switch and we should be ready to roll and we'll have to test everything out now one thing is i want to let you know it's easier with these circuit breakers if you use one of these square shank bits i used that and it worked a lot better because i had one of that kind of stripped out a little bit so just, just so there you go another project done i got basically out of the two breakers down here everything's turned on i'm gonna go out and test it outside we're going to gonna use our let's see there we go there i'm gonna use our tester here to give it a good test out plugging it in i'm gonna hit the circuit breaker here and let's see what we got this is a rough way to test it getting all greens that's a good thing and close we'll it up there i do have a little lock there if i want to put this set up in here and not worry about this being stolen i can lock this right through this little thing right here so there you have it that project took me about about two hours if i had had to go to lowe's and pick up another couple of circuit breakers it would have probably been an hour and a half but it wasn't too bad so uh, I highly recommend if that's what you want to do you can do that uh, you can run 115 but you be, be careful run the air conditioner or anything else in your in your camper so it's always best to have a 30 amp at your house if you're going to have it on for any extended time and we usually put ours on a day before the uh, camping trip so that's about all I have on this video and if you have any questions on uh, anything then go ahead and uh, put that in the comments and we'll get back with you on it